my name is dr j b prasanna kumar working as an assistant professor in government faculty at college tumkur i want to explain a volume a resonator experiment for the fourth semester bsc students tumkur university tumkur in this experiment we require the operators the operators are like this this is known as helmholtz volume uh, or resonator container this is known as measuring jar three tuning forks are considered three tuning forks are considered the first one is known as 5 under and 12 second one is known as 426.6 hertz third one is known as 288 hertz the last one which is unknown frequency in this experiment we want to determine the the frequency of a given tuning fork we have to estimate the frequency of this tuning fork the experimental setup is like this in this experiment first what we have to do is we have to fill the water till to the neck of the container a pinch cord is there here a, a what you call that a collector is there first we should we should get the tuning forks in the decreasing order of their frequencies let us consider the tuning fork of 512 excite the tuning fork gently placed on a helmholtz volume resonator container leave the water slowly using a pinch cord repeat the experiment till the maximum sound is heard here the maximum sound is produced here the maximum sound is produced the basic principle behind this experiment is when the natural frequency is equal to the applied frequency the sound is maximum the wave produced here is a longitudinal mechanical wave two waves are produced and gets superimposed and formed a new type of wave called a stationary wave in this experiment the the collected volume is measured using a measuring jar volume of the water collected is mentioned in a tabular column v1 here the frequency of the tuning fork is mentioned volume is mentioned the experiment is repeated for different trials for three trials mean value of v is noted the squared value of the tuning fork i mean say 512 512 into 512 is mentioned here the reciprocal of the n squared is mentioned volume collected is mentioned n squared v is calculated experiment is repeated for different tuning forks finally unknown frequency for an unknown frequency of a give of a tuning fork unknown tuning fork is experiment is also repeated same for the unknown frequency of the given tuning fork and it is mentioned vx means volume of the water collected for unknown frequency is mentioned similarly the calculation is done as per the tabular column this completes the tabular column n squared v mean value is noted using this value substitute nx is equal to square root of n squared v divided by vx where n is the frequency of the tuning fork 
V is the corresponding volume. Here Vx is the volume of the unknown frequency of the given tuning fork. Mentioned and calculated, you will get the frequency of the unknown tuning fork. This frequency, this unknown frequency of the given tuning fork is verified using a tabular column using a tabular column here 1 by n squared is along x axis volume v v is along y axis the tabular column is plotted it should be a straight line slope is taken for the given tabular column using the slope we can substitute for this formula nx is equal to square root of slope divided by vx volume of the unknown tuning fork the uh, the calculated value of this nx should be almost equal to this hence the experiment is verified unknown frequency of the given tuning fork is measured this completes the experiment thank you, thank you.